Hi, K4 kids. Welcome to K4 Online. My name is Michelle, and I am so happy that you're here with me today. So, this month, our series is called Fear. Hmm, I wonder why it's called that, the month of October. Well, this is such an interesting series, and I'm so glad that you get to witness it. So, let's get on to watching. All right, bye bye. All right, there you go. Ray said this would be the best place for you to rest and heal up for the next few weeks. This is ridiculous. I can still work. No, you can't. Why not? Because the doctor said you can't. You know, I never thought I would hear a rule that I don't like. Well, the doctor knows that this bone should be one bone instead of two. And I bet he would have known not to try to outflex the flex group. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Luke, and this is when I gave my worries to God. Hey, I would look on the bright side. This could be a chance for you to relax and have a bit of free time. You could read a book, you could- I don't want to relax, Harper. The simple truth is that if a guy as careful as me can get hurt, then there needs to be someone that keeps you all safe. It'll be okay. Will it? Do you know who you work with? <laughs> Nick could rewire something, uh, Alyssa could one day believe she's a flying princess, and Mike could wake up and wake up. You know what? You just need to settle down. Trust us and trust God. We even found a verse for you that you can be thinking about. It's found in the book of 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7. Say it like this. 1 Peter 5, 7. 1 Peter 5, 7. Give all your worries and cares to God. Give all your worries and cares to God. For he cares about you. For he cares about you. You're gonna be fine. Now I gotta get back to work. Well, if I can't keep people safe and report violations from in here, then I can do it out there. Oh, uh-huh, yeah, 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 yeah. Failure to turn in a proper circle. That is a code 3.141526. Wow, I've never seen so many postcards at Connect HQ. It's gonna take a while to sort through these, but I can't wait to read each one. Anybody home? Hey Darius, how are things at the after school program? It's going great. What's up? Well, I'm actually here because I need the help of your safety officer. Yeah, Luke, why? Well, an inspector came by the other day saying that we need to get a few things up to code. I don't really know how to do a lot of it, but then I remember you guys. No worries, Luke is great at this kind of stuff. I'm sure he'd love to help. Oh. Oh, you have bigger things to worry about, okay. All right, all right. So you have bigger things to worry about than an undisciplined motorist? Hello, hello. Okay, and you call yourself Secretary of Defense. <clears throat> <clears throat> <sighs> Ooh, didn't see you, what's up? Luke, I think you can help him. He's got some safety questions. Well, you came to the right place. Caution is my middle name. I mean, it will be when it's, I can legally change it. Oh, uh, anyway, I mean, don't let this broken leg fool you. All right, you will never meet anyone anywhere safer than me. It's okay, accidents happen. Hey, could you guys go get my manuals from the lounge so I can teach Darius everything he needs to know about safety? Safety is my middle name. I, I thought, I thought caution was your middle name. 
Oh, it is. But you see, safety is just my backup middle name in case something happens to caution. So, is he always like that? Luke? Oh yeah. His mind is focused on one thing and one thing only. Safety. That girl in pink is dancing way too fast. That sounds exhausting. Ah, what is that guy doing with the silver briefcase? <laughs> it will be so hard to not just sit around and wait for something to go wrong all the time. What is that woman doing lowering a dog out of her window in a basket? Yeah. Uh, I think it would just turn me into someone who sits around and worries all the time. Got you. I can relate to him, though. I struggle with worrying about a lot of things, too. Maybe not safety as much as Luke, but I worry about bad things happening to the people I care about or things just changing. I get it, but I've never been much of a worrier. You know, it just never made sense. How so? Well, the way I've always looked at it is that there's some things you can control and some things you can't. You know, if you can't control something, just do whatever it is to make it better. And if you can't control something, then just ask for help and trust God. Actually, that's how I ended up here today. I needed to make where I worked a safer place, and I didn't know how. So I came to ask you guys. It made a lot more sense than worrying about it. You know, the same way Luke can help you with your problem, I think you can help him with his. Luke, what is all this? Harper, Darius, thank goodness you are here. In the past hour, I have noted 306 safety violations, uh, 183 traffic violations, and a three second lane violation that I saw in the basketball game across the street. <laughs> Luke, you have to stop worrying like this. It isn't healthy. No, do you wanna know what's not healthy? What's not healthy are the 204 health code violations at Pretty Peppy Patties, Pesto, Pasta, and Pizzeria. I mean, what if no one fixes these problems? What if there's no one to protect the people? What if I- Look, look, I know you wanna keep everyone safe, but there's only so much you can do. Tell him what you told me. Yeah, there's a fine line between wanting to keep people safe and not trusting in God. I mean, it's not your job to take care of the whole neighborhood. That's what the police are for. Hey, don't you guys have like Bible stories that show stuff like this? That's a great idea, and I think I've got one too. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God. Searching God's word for things to discover This book is alive Full of answers and godly advice This book is alive See the wonderful stories inside Every day I'm searching me through history and poetry How much Jesus loves me God's great story lives There's no other book like this This book is alive. One day, Jesus noticed a crowd was beginning to follow him. So he went up to a mountainside to teach them. And this is what Jesus said to them. It is pointless to worry about everyday life, whether you have enough food and drink or clothes. Your life is worth more than any of that. Look at the birds of the sky. They don't plant or harvest or store food away because your heavenly Father takes care of them. And aren't you more valuable to Him than they are? Could worrying add a single moment to your life? And don't worry about what your clothes look like. Look at the lilies of the field and see how they grow. They don't work to make their clothing, and yet they are beautiful. And if God cares so much for the lilies that only last for a little while, why wouldn't He care for you? You don't need to ask the question, what if? Or worry about things like, what will we drink? Or eat? Or wear? Your Heavenly Father knows all your needs before even you do. Don't worry about tomorrow. 
because that will just bring more worry. Choose to live for God and He will always take care of you. Nothing is too small or too big for God. Worry is worth nothing. God's got this. You guys are right. I need to stop worrying, asking what if. Great, now I'm worried. I won't figure out how to stop worrying. It's all right to be concerned or aware of things because that'll keep you safe. Which is what I want. But when you start worrying too much, you make things worse. You gotta find some healthy way to stop worrying. Well, how about this? Darius and I go find a point link and you stay here and try and figure out how not to worry. And that can be our limit link. You got it, Jar. That's right. I liked what you said earlier about giving things you can't control to God, and that's what this is. Anytime I have something that's beyond my power to fix, I give it to God. What if you want to take it back out of the jar? Well, I may worry a lot, but when I give something to God, it's His. That's perfect. I think I'm going to get one too. You know, just in case. Did you guys come up with the point? Actually, it was Darius who came up with the point. Tell him. I trust God instead of worrying. I trust God instead of worrying. I like that. Did you come up with that? Yep. He didn't need any help from me. Impressive. You know, you may have what it takes to be a field agent or maybe even work here one day. It is so easy to get worried about things that we have no control over, and it can be anything. It can be school, friends, family, you name it. But what we need to remember is that God puts things in our lives that we can make better, and He also puts things in our lives that help trust Him, just like our verse says. 1 Peter 5, 7. Give all your worries and cares to God, for He cares about you. Today I was so worried that I wasn't going to be able to keep my friends safe. And I got so worried I did some weird stuff. But just like we saw in Matthew, I learned to give all my worries to God because there are some things that only He can handle. Find a way to give your cares to God. I mean, you can even use my God jar idea if you want. Oh, and remember today's point. I trust God instead of worrying. I know you can do it. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Those were the longest weeks of my life. I bet they were. But you're back and healthy, and you helped fix Darius's problem. And I bet you're excited to get back to keeping us safe and secure. You might even say secure is my... Let me guess. It's the backup to the backup of your middle name. No, just part of my job description. <laughs> Anyways, I'm happy you're back. Oh, oh, I am happy too. I am so happy that I'm not going to even worry and I am purposely going to commit a 56, 35. What is that? Jump for joy. Ah! I think I did it again. There are a lot of things to worry about in this world, but there's something that I don't worry about, and that is that God loves me and will never leave me. I know this because Jesus tells us so in the Bible. When we accept Jesus into our hearts, God will take any worry we have, and He will help us through any hard time. If you want to make that decision to follow Jesus today, just remember, A, B, 
C. A. Admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying him. B. Believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you are forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C. Choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. If you want to make that decision today, then be sure to talk about it with your Connect Small Group leader before you leave. That was excellent. I hope to see you next week at Cape Port Online. Bye-bye.